Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. All the modern day artillery and its firing includes two important components which is propelling charges and projectile. The propelling charge is a separate loading charge used in 155mm artillery guns for firing in zone 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. The projectile or the artillery shell is propelled by the exploding gases created by the propellant or propelling charges. The barrel gives the projectile its direction. After the projectile has left the barrel, it flies to target unguided or even guided using smart munition. More propelling charge means more range. ATAX has a range of more than 48 kilometers because it is capable of firing zone 7 propelling charge. The propelling charge is ignited by a primer which is at the base of the charge. Now this background was important to understand the latest enhancement planned in ATAX. DRDU has recently released a tender to design and develop a laser based ignition system for 155mm ATAX gun. The minimum expected life of the laser is 10,000 hours and the expected delivery is 4 months from the date of contract. The laser ignition technology will replace the primer used in the propelling charge to ignite it. The details of the laser to be used has already been finalized by ARD and its testing will commence in 14 weeks from the date of placement of supply order. The laser based ignition is not a new concept and its development began in early 90s by US Army. The laser ignition has potential advantage over traditional ignition schemes including improving system reliability and safety, simplifying the ignition train through elimination of the primer and facilitating the ignition of insensitive munitions. By insensitive munition means the munition which are only sensitive to laser and not to the normal environmental conditions. The introduction of new ignition system in ATAX will further improve the gun's reliability and safety. However, the integration of new system and its trials may take few months. It is not clear if the laser-based ignition system is being pursued as an enhancement to existing gun or a requirement by army. If this is a requirement by army, then it might further delay the induction of these guns by Indian army. However, if it is an enhancement, then it might not affect the induction process and could be part of feature to be available in next version of ATAX or improved ATAX. The firing trials of ATAX was completed in July 2022 and the maintenance evaluation trials and the quality assurance trials were also concluded in the month of August. By mid of November, the system is expected to complete its evaluation and Army has planned to induct the gun in 2023. In August 2018, the Ministry of Defense has sanctioned the procurement of 150 ATAX gun for Army worth Rs. 33.65 billion or $410 million. This order will be divided among two developers, TASL and Bharat Forge. The deal will be split in 60-40 ratio between lowest bidder L1 and L2. The Army has total requirement of 1580 artillery guns in this category. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.